In this tutorial, we will use the features of GNU Radio to simulate a basic OFDM transmitter. We will not use advanced mathematical notion, but we will simply show how it is possible to transmit data on several subcarriers and to recover them simply by performing an A50, which is at the heart of understanding OFDM. First, we will quickly explain, in the simplest possible way, what OFDM consists of. OFDM is orthogonal frequency division multiplexing and is a special case of multi-carrier communication. OFDM is behind many high-speed systems such as Wi-Fi, LTE, TNT and many more. Consider a signal transmitted to a mobile device. The signal transmits binary information at certain bitrate. Depending on the environment in which this mobile device is located, the signal can reach it along several paths. In this example, the signal received by the mobile equipment is the sum of the signal received directly and the signal which is reflected, and which is therefore delayed since it has traveled a longer path. Let's first imagine that the data rate is relatively low. The delayed signal will interfere with the signal which arrives directly, but without degrading it completely. It is reasonable to think that in this case, it is not too difficult to recover the original message. Now, imagine a much greater flow. The variations representing the bits are much more faster. The environment remaining the same, compared to the information sent. The delay is much greater and it is easy to understand that it is much more difficult, if not impossible, to recover the original signal in this case. To limit the effects due to the environment, it is preferable to reduce the data transmission rate. Instead of broadcasting on a single high-speed carrier frequency, the data is broadcast on several subcarriers in parallel. The bitrate is reduced on each subcarrier, but the amount of data received by the receiver remains the same. In time domain, OFDM converts one serial fast bit stream into many parallel slow bit streams and this is what we will illustrate with this demonstration. Now it's time to practice. We will use GNU Radio to build a very basic OFDM transceiver with only four subcarriers. Current systems have many more depending on the number of users. Let's start by looking at the program and seeing its overall working principle. We will study each part in detail next. First, there is the encoding and transmission part. We start by defining the bytes to send in the vector source block. The variable send is defined in a block cute guy chooser, which will allow to dynamically change the send bytes. The following is identical to what has already been presented previously, packed to unpacked to select the number of bits per symbol, 4 for 16 QAM, chunks to symbols to define the coordinates of the symbol sent. The stream demux will allow the demultiplexing of the symbols and send them on four different channels on different frequencies. The duration of a symbol consisting of eight samples at 800 kHz sampling corresponds to 0.01 milliseconds. The symbol rate is therefore 1 over 0.01 milliseconds equal 1 100 kilohertz. To respect the orthogonality of the carriers, they must therefore be separated from this value. To generate the OFDM signal, it is necessary to add all these subcarriers. Then we add a little noise to simulate real conditions. The signal is sent to a virtual sync and replayed by a virtual source to simulate reception. It is then processed by an F50 which is the inverse operation of what was done previously by adding the orthogonal subcarriers. The FFT directly returns the values of the coordinates of the symbols that can be displayed in the constellation sync. The constellation is then decoded as before, except that the decimal byte values are sent over two number syncs so that they can be displayed live in the window. Let's take a quick look at the result and check that everything works before going into more detail on each element. In time domain, we can see a periodic signal of 0.01 milliseconds. 
In frequency domain, we can see four peaks as expected. The decoded outputs correspond to the byte sent, even if the values are changed. Now let's go into more detail about how the program works. Initially, we choose to send continuously the bytes 85 and 170 in decimal notation. In binary, 85 corresponds to the symbol 0101 repeated twice. 170 corresponds to the symbol 1010 repeated twice. According to the coordinates defined in the constellation 16 QAM, the coordinates of these symbols are minus 0.33 for the real part, minus 0.33 for the imaginary part, and 1, 1 for the other symbol. Each symbol is then sent on its subcarrier and the wall is added to generate the OFDM signal. Then the signal is visualized in time domain and in frequency domain. The 0101 symbols being closer to the center of the constellation, the amplitude of the peaks is weaker. Now let's look at decoding. The data stream is converted into a vector to be processed by the FFT block. The block returns 8 points, but since we are only using half of the available bandwidth, we could use eight subcarriers with this bandwidth, but to simplify, I only kept four. We will therefore focus on the first four points. The next four, all at zero, will be eliminated later. We can see that the coordinates of the symbols are correct and are repeated over and over again. After removing the four unnecessary points with the keep M -E -N block, we directly observe the constellation and the signal in the time domain. To conclude, Genu Radio is a very educational tool for understanding advanced concepts. Being able to deconstruct and reproduce the operation of each block makes it possible to better understand the processing chain. Thank you for your attention.